Um, I was um, a film student. I'd long been excited about um, Italian culture and Italian background. I was trained as a painter. Mm -hmm. So I'd come to Italy via Caravaggio in Italy, not Fellini. But here was a filmmaker who had extraordinary visual imagination. I didn't always agree with his politics. Sometimes thought he was sentimental. The latter films, I think, were somehow peculiarly unstructured, and I'm very keen on tight structure. But he was a man who often made the most extraordinary images, which you, you know, reverberated in your head for many, many, many months and years afterwards. Well, I think I've probably accrued for myself a certain sort of uh, reputation now, that if an actor or an actress decides to work with me, they sign a certain sort of contract that probably notions of physicality, corporeality up front will be on the agenda. All right, so they were like, they, well, obviously they knew what they were going to do, but on the set, do they, were they very comfortable with it? The well, I think if anybody was so desensitized that it was entirely uh, a situation of walking on and stripping off and walking off, I would be a little dubious about their sensitivities anyway. I mean, of course it's a problem. Of course it's a, it's a difficult area. Even in a European context, it's particularly exacerbated over here, of course. But... Um, I would want I would want the actors and actresses to be sensitive to the situation. Mm -hmm. When you are coming up with the story and writing and directing, are you thinking about how your audience, how the audience is going to respond, and how shocked they will be or how cut moved they will be? Do you do you have that in mind? Do you think? No, no, I never do. Um, there are all sorts of arrogances, aren't there? And I think the supreme arrogance is to presume that we can make films for other people. Mm -hmm. Our audiences contain so many people with different sorts of cultural baggage and expectation. It's an extraordinary form of arrogance to suggest that we can make a film which is going to satisfy everybody, an impossibility. So I think the best way to work on it is to imagine that you want your audiences to be as adult and sophisticated as possible, but end up making the film for yourself. And if you do that in all due seriousness, and that your um, purposes, you know, are, are adult and sophisticated, then I think you're going to make a link. Not with everybody, of course, you'll never be able to do that. With certainly with people of a like mind. And I think that must have been the case in, uh, in, in my career, because I'm still making movies.